the internals of Glide Image Loading Library. Generally speaking, we use the following code to load an image. Glide.with this.load URL dot into image view. Exploring the source code, let us take a look at the modules in Glide. Understanding the main outermost classes, first we have Glide. Glide is a singleton class, and the instance can be obtained through the Glide hashtag git context method. The Glide class is a global configuration class. Encoder, decoder, model loader are all set here. It also provides an interface for creating request manager. Glide hashtag with method. We'll take a look at the request manager later. When using Glide, the Glide hashtag with method is called first to create a request manager. The method in Glide has five overloads. The Glide with method delegates the creation of request manager to request manager retriever. Request manager retriever is a singleton class and calls get context to create request manager. Understanding the Glide Builder. Glide Builder is a class used to create Glide instances, which contain many getters and setter methods, such as setting a bitmap pool, memory cache, array pool, disk cache, memory size calculator, and a few more. These array pools, cache implementations, etc. will eventually be used as parameters of the Glide constructor to create Glide instances. Understanding the Request Manager Retriever. The five overloaded glide with methods mentioned earlier correspond to the five overloaded git methods in the Request Manager Retriever. The logic for creating Request Manager is as follows. If the perimeter of the with method is activity or fragment, call the fragment git context android.app.fragment manager method in the Request Manager Retriever to create the Request Manager. At the perimeter, of the with method is fragment or fragment activity call support fragment gate context fragment manager method to create request manager. If the perimeter of the with method is context, it will determine whether the source belongs to fragment activity and activity. If it is, it will be evaluated according to the above logic, otherwise the git application manager context method will be called to create the request manager. If the background thread calls Clyde with or the system version is less than 17, i.e. jellybean mr1, the git application manager context method will eventually be called to create the request manager. Understanding the request manager. We all know that when using Glide to load a picture, if the current screen is destroyed or invisible, it will stop loading the image. But when we use Glide to load the image, we just pass a context object. So how does Glide get the screen lifecycle through a context object? Through the introduction of Request Manager Retriever, we know that a Fragment Manager perimeter is required when creating a Request Manager, except for the Global Request Manager. Now, when creating a Request Manager, an invisible fragment will be created first and added to the current screen through Fragment Manager. And this invisible fragment can be used to detect the life cycle of the screen. The code ensures that each activity slash fragment contains only one Request Manager fragment and one Request Manager. There are many load methods to create request builder. One is a new request builder for downloading content to cache and returning the cache file. And two is a new request builder for loading a drawable. Understanding the request builder. Request builder is a generic class used to build requests, such as setting request option, thumbnails, etc. Many of the overload methods in Request Manager correspond to the overload method in Request Builder. After the load method, the into method is called to set the image view or the target into the next method. The request is created and started inside the request package. There are three main classes for request. One is single request, two is thumbnail request coordinator, and three is error request coordinator. Single request is a class that is responsible for executing the request and reflecting the result to the target. Thumbnail request coordinator is a class that is used to coordinate two requests to load the original image and the thumbnail at the same time. The thumbnail does not need to be loaded after the original image is loaded. All these controls are controlled by this class. When we fail to load the image, we might want to continue to load another image through the network or other means. For example, when we use error in this way, it will eventually create an error request coordinator object. Understanding the target. Target represents a resource that can be easily loaded by Glide and has a life cycle. When we call the request builder into method, the target implementation class with the corresponding type will be created based on the incoming perimeters. Glide provides image view target on image view by default. App widget target on app widget 
future target for synchronously loading images. Understanding the Glide Module Glide Module is an interface allowing lazy configuration of Glide. The code of Glide Module is straightforward. You can see the interface is annotated and depreciated. Glide recommends using App Glide Module instead. The Glide Module interface itself has no code content, but it inherits the registers components of Applies Options interfaces. Understanding the Model Loader A factory interface for translating an arbitrarily complex data module into a concrete data type that can be used by a data fetcher to obtain the data and resource represented by the module. The interface has two objectives. One is to translate a specific model into a data type that can be decoded into a resource. Two is to allow a model to be combined with the dimensions of the view to fetch a resource of a specific size. Understanding the data fetcher. The data fetcher is an interface. The internal implementation is to initiate a network request or open a file or open a resource, etc. After the loading is completed, the callback is made to the data fetcher data callback interface. There are two methods in data callback. They represent the data load success or load failure callback respectively. Understanding the encoder. The encoder is an interface for writing data to some persistent data source, i.e. a local file cache. There's only one method called encode and the comments explain it quite well. Understanding the resource decoder. Resource decoder is an interface for decoding resources. It is used to decode the original data into the corresponding data type. Understanding the engine. Engine is a class which is responsible for starting loads and managing active and cached resources. Focusing on the load method, this method mainly does the following. Build key by request, obtain resources from active resources and return when obtained, get the resource from the cache and return it directly when you get it, judge whether the current request is being executed, if yes, return directly. And lastly, build engine job and decode job in execute. Understanding the engine job. This is mainly used to execute decode job and manage the callback of loading completion of various listeners. Understanding the decode job. Decode job is a class responsible for decoding resources either from cache data or from the original source and applying transformations and transcodes. The loading of images is ultimately implemented through data fetcher, but is not directly called here. Data fetcher generator is used here. Hi, I'm Smitnov. I narrated this video. Go follow my YouTube channel in the link in the description because I only have 9 seconds to say this. Seriously, go follow me. That would be very sick. Thanks.